एवरीवन सो एज यू कैन सी माय फेस इज डिवाइडेड एंड आपने थंबनेल में देख ही लिया होगा दैट दिस वीडियो इज कंपैरिजन बिटवीन शुगर स्टिक फाउंडेशन एंड बीबी क्रीम सो मेरे पास दोनों सेम शेड के फाउंडेशन है मतलब सेम शेड का फाउंडेशन है और सेम शेड की बीबी क्रीम है तो मैं अब आपको बताती हूँ कि विच वन इज बेटर एंड विच वन इज मीन्स इसकी गुड क्वालिटीज क्या है इसकी बैड क्वालिटीज क्या है सो इफ दैट इंटरेस्ट यू प्लीज कीप ऑन वॉचिंग माई नेम इज जस्टिन दीद एंड आई पोस्ट about hair care skin care and everything that interest you so if you like this video then do consider subscribing to my youtube channel so the first point for the video is always the shade so the shade i have is 15 cappuccino in uh, the stick foundation and same in the bb cream and i'm going to swatch them pure for the difference and you will be shocked to know the difference so first of all i'm swatching this one uh, this is uh, Stick foundation Ace of Face from Sugar. So this is how the shade looks. Uh, Ace of Face foundation looks on my hand, and I'm now swatching the BB cream. This is Goddess of Flawless SPF 30 BB cream. Uh, same in the shade Cappuccino. So this is the shade. As you can see, there's a difference. Means this one looks bit lighter and this one looks bit dark. ज़्यादा difference नहीं है but ज़्यादा difference इसलिए नज़र आ रहा है क्योंकि इसकी consistency काफ़ी thin है इसके comparison में ये है थोड़ा thick consistency का as you can see ये एकदम जमने type हो गया and this is very creamy and a cream based product. That means इससे आपको समझ में आ रहा है कि अगर आपकी dry skin है and you need some creamy product that can give you some coverage then you should go for a bb cream and if you are someone from oily skin type or normal skin type then this stick foundation will suit you the difference is there jab main aapko face pe laga ke dikhaungi tab aapko pata chalega ki in dono mein kitna difference hai so the point that we consider in this comparison is the coverage for the coverage of this stick foundation is full coverage this is medium to full coverage if you apply like properly then it will give you full 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 coverage and then coming to the uh, bb cream uh, coverage then it gives you a sheer coverage and if you apply and you build up then you can get up to medium coverage but this is definitely a go to if you are looking for some natural and uh, daily basis product then bb cream is the must have and this product is bit a uh, like a uh, festive product like a makeup if you are going uh, if you need a heavy makeup then this product should be considered then fourth point that i have considered into this comparison is the formula as you can see this is thick very thick product and uh, feels like it has given me patches but this product is very lightweight very lightweight product and blends seamlessly you don't need any beauty blender or brush this has very nice and sheer coverage and also very lightweight on the skin then the fifth point that i have considered is the spf this product has no spf as of now it is not mentioned anywhere i have searched if it has spf but i didn't find any claims for the spf so this product is just a makeup product no but it has goodness uh, for your skin it not going to harm your skin but this product this beauty has spf 30 that is going to protect you from the sun so sun protection is must if you are going out of your house or if you are staying at home but a beauty product having spf is the best then the sixth point that i have considered into this comparison is blending point of view so for me this comes with a brush as you can see it has a brush for blending and it is very dense brush and for my point of view i have uh, felt like it is going to take a bit long for blending because i think this has a, a thick texture so we need to blend it like very nicely to uh, seep into the skin and for this product this product blends effort effortlessly you don't need any beauty blender or something to blend you just need your fingers and you can just blend it like nicely then the seventh point that i have considered is like how much it stays so both the product for this product i can say it uh, goes up to 8 hours nothing will happen to your base this product will go up to the mark but this product i think stays for like 4 to 5 hours even if you are using setting spray this is going to fade away after 4 to 5 hours which is very natural if you are wearing 
BB cream, BB cream is supposed to stay for a very less time. So that goes same. After doing this hand on hand comparison, let's put it on my face and let's see the difference between Custic foundation and BB cream. I know you have been waiting for this moment, so let's start. So I have removed my previous makeup completely. This side I'm going to use the stick foundation and this side I'm going to use the BB cream. So let's start for the foundation. I'm using it in a dotted way. I have applied and now I'm going to use this brush. You can't go with a damp motion with this one. You have to just drag it. As you can see, I am using hard motions. And let's try the BB cream. As I said, you don't need any brush or something to blend this. I'm using my fingers. So I have blended completely and as you can see a difference. This side is a stick foundation and this side is a BB. So as you can see this side has a little white cast because this is looking lighter to my skin tone and this side is looking natural but bit of a yellow tone. My skin is not someone uh, having yellow tone. I am from the cool tone so this side is looking bit warm. So I hope you like this video. Do let me know your thoughts on this video, this comparison video and let me know in the comments which video you want to see next. Till then, bye!